Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, special session. The theme for this conference and theme for today is mobile everything. And I can tell you if you are looking at what's happening in mobile, in fact, if you are looking at what's happening on the internet in general, at this stage, it's nearly everything when it comes to that. So very little introduction is needed. Uh, Sachin Bansal, of course, founder and CEO of Flipkart, Naveen Tiwari, founder and CEO of Inmobi, and Vijayshekhar Sharma, founder and CEO of PTM. So it doesn't get bigger than this. Please put your hands together for all of them. And um, I'm going to leave it reasonably free-flowing, so please feel free to dive in, ask any questions, disagree violently, throw things, do whatever you want, it's, it's fine. Um, but let me just start off with the, with the basic question, mobile everything, you know, this is obviously something which started off as a concept, became established truth, became hyped. Is it still the way you see it panning out? Mobile everything and that's really what we should be betting on? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we have been talking about this for a few years now and actually a uh, few years ago it was almost like a belief that uh, it used to come out like a belief, not, not really backed by facts but now we are seeing more and more facts to support that actually mobile is going to be everything, that mobile will disrupt everything, uh, including how, uh, how uh, uh, shopping happens to how um, education is delivered to payments, um, to transportation, um, and, uh, and not just that, I think going forward, even healthcare, uh, how elections happen, <clears throat> how people get influenced during elections, I think all of that is getting influenced uh, uh, by mobile. So it is, it is all pervasive. Everything uh, will get uh, uh, changed because of this. Naveen, any skepticism at all as to what all mobile can do? It can't quite brush your teeth so far or make the coffee. Yeah, well, I think it's having a hard time figuring out the, the, the murder mystery case though. But yeah, I was about to ask you, you have theory on that, please feel free. <laughs> no, no, I think, look, you know, it reminded, your question actually reminded me of, uh, uh, you know, uh, we probably are one of the uh, first companies, not just in India, globally, which was mobile first. Uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, any presence to even begin with to do uh, outside of mobile. And obviously, the skepticism that we faced in 2008 when we launched ourselves to 2009, where people... Uh, in most parts of the world would come back and say, well, what are you even talking about? Like, this is going to be a, a minor a, or a, a you know, minority of what's going to be the case going forward to a scenario where today, uh, you know, just like Sachin just said, not just, you know, payments, commerce, advertising, you know, obviously these will be very, very largely, you know, uh, on mobile, but a lot of social services of the country will actually be here, you know, whether it's, you know, education, healthcare, um, and you can go on and on, but I think most importantly, security. You know, it, 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 the devices and capabilities of the, these devices have not completely been, uh, you know, un, uh, tabbed yet. And so I think the, uh, there is no skepticism per se. I think, the, uh, I think the skepticism is more around, you know, can we actually uh, move as fast as the world is moving and therefore changes in the regulations, et cetera, can they all come to effect in order for that to, uh, you know, actually happen. I think that's... But I'm going to come to some of the reasons why you may have skepticism, not least the fact that mobiles ideally should be used to be able to speak to somebody else. And right now with call drops, it's not quite that easy. So I find it slightly worrying that you're depending yeah, on this device to change your life. You can't actually use it to make a call. So no. I think it gets down to the business models also because the business model of dependency on, on the voice as a revenue is not the right one. And so therefore that business model needs to shift to say, okay, I can make revenue through, uh, through other methods and therefore subsidize higher quality networks. Right. Vijay? Uh, I mean, how, how big it's going to be? You know, he was talking about the sort of skepticism there used to be five, six years ago. And that's right. Look at the way things have changed. We go back further. When we, for example, first started to do content on mobile, which was 2,000 people thought we were insane. They said, you're crazy yeah. that you, it'll ever happen. Five years, 10 years from now, what, is, what, what all can you potentially be doing with your mobile phone? I think uh, mobile as we know is going to change for sure. Uh, when you're saying mobile, you're not assuming this is 12-inch screen or yesterday iPad Pro we got to see and then tablet or a device which is this big. 
the very concept of mobile and if it is opening a form factor in your mind, that is what definitely is going to change in the next three, four years for sure. It's abstracted. Uh, when you say mobile, it truly is the app on the mobile, on an operating system which is in so many millions hands. So I, I fundamentally believe that uh, mobile were the first consumer technology which became so mass as we see today. And going forward, the forms and factors are inevitable to change. Naveen is wearing Apple Watch, and whether it will be watch, whether it will be wearable, whether it will be surrounded by sensor or whatever, that, that is not the trick that I know yet. But I definitely know that it was not the form factor which is the mobile when you're saying mobile everything. It is the app on the top of it which does the magic. And that app will find its many incredible differential avatars, so to say. Right. And uh, to quote this historical thing, I remember internally, uh, 2011 used to be the time when we were discovering as a company what should we do on the smartphones. And I had this uh, conversation with a friend of mine and we quoted this line. If somebody is showing you next big thing, and if it is not on the mobile, then somebody is not showing you the next big thing. That was 2011, so to say. And I think today we should just move this to the app that if somebody is showing you next big thing on the mobile and if it is not an app, he's not showing you the next big thing, for sure. Okay, let's just dive into this debate now that you've raised it, because Sachin's familiar with this debate, right, a little bit. There's been a lot of uh, recent talk, and Kunal in particular saying that, you know, if the decision to go app only is one of the most customer unfriendly things that he has ever seen. Uh, why go app only? I get how powerful apps are, but why be app only? Why not be app and web, both, or app, web, and desktop? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we need to look at some data and statistics around this, right? So India's uh, mobile traffic, overall traffic coming from mobile phones, exceeded desktop in 2012. It's not like a recent phenomena, or it's not going to happen in the future. It's already happened three years ago. Uh, apart from that, uh, the way we are seeing uh, sales of smartphones, sales of laptops and desktops, uh, replacement cycles, uh, all of, of all of this and growth of broadband, uh, physical broadband and wireless broadband, all of those uh, developments in India, that day is not far in the future when we will see 90% of uh, India's internet traffic uh, originating from uh, smartphones. And within smartphones, 90% of internet usage will be on apps, right? So it's like a no-brainer that you need to get um, one thing right. And what we believe is that um, if you win mobile app, you win everything. If you lose mobile app, you lose everything. It doesn't matter, rest of the stuff. Right? So that's how, uh, uh, that's how stark uh, the situation would be. No, I, I mean, the importance of apps certainly cannot be uh, under, underestimated or understated. But if you consider that a lot of the people who are now going to be getting mobile phones, uh, are, it's not necessarily going to be your iPhones and your Samsungs. Uh, the, the Samsung 6, I mean. They're going to be smaller phones, cheaper phones, may not have that much storage yeah. capacity. There may be only space to put two or three or four apps into it. Mm -hmm. So do you really feel that the M dot concept, the, the fact that somebody will type in a particular address on the browser and go to it, are you sure that that is not going to be successful? But it's already happening. It's already, uh, uh, as I said, right? So it's already happening on mobile, uh, while on desktop, 90% of usage used to be on of the browser. Browser used to be the alpha Uber app on the on the desktop. It's not that it doesn't have that status on mobile. People are already uh, moving away from uh, browsers. Browsers are mostly uh, invoked through a Facebook or a Twitter uh, when a link has to be seen or things like that. It's not really uh, uh, the main app that consumers are going to. Um, that's, that's something that we're already seeing. Um, so, um, so I think, uh, yes, yeah, so I think th that's where the, we are looking at data and, 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 and uh, yeah. Vijay, your take on that before I come to Naveen? I think somebody who said that this is consumer unfriendly should know there is far more consumer unfriendly when you're doing it on internet because I remember there was a time when all travel agencies used to, OTAs used to publish 1-800, 1-500, ABC number. So why did we miss that generation anyways? I mean, we should be super consumer friendly or business friendly to have even a toll free number advertised that please dial this number to place an order on us. I think it is 
about being relevant. The puck is moving there. Microsoft earns ton of revenue on desktop. It is totally irrelevant company today. You may make money, you may be irrelevant. If you want to be the one who brings a change, you want to capture the audience where it is added. That is where the app is. Also, I think uh, as we as companies have a responsibility to innovate on behalf of the consumer, the consumer is not going to innovate uh, or the consumer is not going to tell us uh, what the next big innovation is, uh, will be. It is our job to actually figure that out based on consumer needs and constraints in the ecosystem. Uh, I truly believe that focus on a channel or a mode of con delivering your service to consumer really leads to innovation. Uh, the way Naveen, like ruthless focus on a relentless focus on mobile last few years have put them in this, this position where um, there uh, uh, other uh, uh, companies of, of the similar generation can't even dream to be in that situation because of this focus that, uh, uh, that they have shown. So I think so just focus is what focus you're saying is drives innovation. One of the things about apps, of course, Naveen, is and, and the, the data is sometimes staggering. When we first started, for example, to set up the NDTV app, we were, the data didn't seem to make any sense because you were on desktops or other form factors. One user was driving something like nine page views in a month or 10 page views in a month. From the app, we were getting 320 page views in a month from a single user. And that sort of showed some of what, what was being spoken about out here. Uh, is that still the trend you're seeing? You know, I think it's a, um, I think we are confusing few things. I think there is no question on the importance of the application. It's completely important. But also let's realize, as you rightly said, a phone can have at max about 40 to 50 apps, of which about 25% are pre-decided. You're not deciding them. So you're left with few, few slots. So it's yeah. like your current uh, TV set-top box or whatever, the cable channel, you used to have 13 channels and you, you, can you be one of them? So, and if you are one of them, then that's brilliant. Then yeah, that's brilliant. So, I think the debate is at two, three levels, right? One, if you are one of the top apps in your category, which, you know, both of these guys are, you need to go all out and you know, secure that location. There is no way that you cannot not secure that position because that's the way for it to be. But the current app ecosystem is pathetic. The app ecosystem is pathetic because the user experience of an app is bad. The, the way you go through one app and then you go from one app to the next one, it's like, who does that in the world? Like, it's so clunky. It's like 1997 of Yahoo, it's that bad. Now, that has to e evolve and come out with something new, which will obviously start to happen. But in the meantime, consumers are not going to stick to the large torso set of applications or the big applications that will take the 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 early, you know, few screens. There is evolution that is happening which will basically say, okay, what is the next set of applications that one can get to? Now to your question, the, the numbers are what the numbers are today. Because the use, the, there, is a, there is a bias of the consumers actually having only that many of apps and so therefore this, there is a recursive cycle which is essentially forcing the same number of apps getting. So if you are one of the top apps today, there is a very likelihood chance that you will be very successful. So you should go all out and do what these guys are trying to do is to say, okay, I will be the app in the system and I will drive it and therefore when, I'm, when I have that real state, I'll continue to keep it. But that's not the end of the world. There, there are you know, 500,000 other applications or million apps that are out Most there. Most of them will not keep on getting used. And most and of them will not find a place on the phone. So therefore, you should have other strategies. No, but and I if you're not Flipkart and you're not Paytm, and then you, you, should yeah, have then you won't else. have it. No. But the ecosystem will evolve itself. And therefore, the, where the puck is going to be is going to be a little different than what it is right. I think there is this ecosystem existing on internet, right? Desktop, as we call it. And the gatekeeper is Google nearly, because you go through them. No, it's not. I, even if it is not, uh, significant traffic goes through them and whatever else is. There is Facebook, there is Google. Now, I have a question. Do you think it worked out on the internet? Do you go through million sites in 12 months time period? No, no as, a, as an end consumer, yeah. individually, I do not. So that's but, what the but, end but, purpose but, of but technology But my is. set of sites, the 15, 25% of them would be common to all of you, but the 75% would be not common to you. And then you will discover those apps? 
and I will discover those apps, but the discovery of those apps and the way you discover them is very broken today. Oh, that's Andy Rubin and Google problem. That's not our problem, right? But, but yeah, but, but yeah, I think that the point that he's making is that if you only have limited space in your phone to keep five, ten apps, then it's slightly, I mean, you guys may be fine because you'll be one of the five, ten apps. What about what no, the others? No, I, I think th this is classic uh, that uh, most By the way, I love this it. because, you know, that's, where, that's when a lot of these guys spend millions and millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars that obviously get, come to us and we, we get them those positions. But yeah. <laughs> why do you think? No, no, Why do you think I'm just, yeah, it's great, no, keep this debate going, guys. I know, because I don't I want you to, the right to, places to I don't want you guys, so you want you guys to come this. up with any new strategy right now. Obviously, I mean, as an agenda driver, he has to make a couple of people fight to drive advertising <laughs> spend. That's a forgiven. So I thought you'd promised on this panel you're going to be making people fight. <laughs> well, I think I'm, I'm, okay, have I'm, big, I'm taking a I'll have the big piece, you'll have the big fight. I, I have a challenge here that I do not think the newer form factors will have a browser in their app. I agree. As well of that, I agree. which is incidentally not because it can't come, not because it can't be morphed, not because it can't be deployed, but because browser-based systems are broken fundamentally, and th it's sort of a cycle in the world. Apps, browser, apps, browser. I think it, it's a cycle. So in the forward cycle, it is broken, is what I'm saying, and it'll come back is also what I'm predicting. Can I can I argue with you on that for just a second or two? Please. It depends on how you define a browser. Yeah. Yes, it's possible that you may not be opening your phone or device and typing in, you know, www an address. or something else. But if you're saying, hey Siri, or you're saying, okay Google, that's what that's I was saying. Browsing. Th so that's browsing. You, know, you, know, th you just said it correct. An app is answering your solution, not a browser is where you're typing URL, where you can go anywhere. That Siri decided who they are taking content from to answer it. That's called app. Siri is a fundamentally an app. Which yeah. is getting, which is powered by cloud capabilities behind the scene. So that is what I'm trying to put up. That look, this open ecosystem of desktop internet, and it, it got killed. The SEO, SEM, the affiliates, everybody killed it. Actually, I mean, it's a, it's a given. I don't have to say more about it. Oh yeah, but the user experience leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. Okay, let me start another discussion out here on the question of the language of the internet as you go forward in, in India, because so far, I mean, if you look at China, most sites are in, in Chinese. If you look at India, most of the internet so far is English, English and English first. When is that going to change, Sachin? When are you going to have Hindi first or Telugu or Tamil or, you know, local language vernacular sites driving the internet in India? Yeah. No, I, think, I think the challenge in India is slightly different from actually it's very unique uh, to India. Uh, we have, we have uh, large populations which are, uh, which don't speak English which don't have native uh, English uh, language, either speaking, reading, uh, or writing. We have majority of the people who are well off or who will have the funds to actually fund the internet uh, through ads and other things, will they speak English? Um, then we have uh, fragmentation of languages. We don't have one common language. In Hindi is the most common language, but still not um, still by far, uh, 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 it is still not the dominant, it's still not the majority, uh, it's still 50%. Um, and which is very different, actually, this, this kind of a situation has never happened in the world anywhere, right? Whether it's uh, China or, um, or other uh, geographies, right? So, so I think, but I think now with, uh, with smartphones coming in and with keyboards uh, on smartphones, which have solved the problem of language where you can have multiple languages uh, keyboards, uh, this problem is actually going to get tackled now uh, with, the, with, with more localization, more local languages coming in. So I believe in the next maybe one or two years, we'll start seeing some progress so, in that direction. So at what point would a company like Flipkart, for example, say, we are Hindi first as opposed to being English first or some other language first? That's, that's I think, the question I'm trying to get at. I don't think we can say Hindi first or English first um, uh, I, right now we are English first and English only. I think uh, we'll probably stay English first for the next few years. Actually, it's very hard for me to say when exactly Hindi will become the first language yeah. of the internet. It's actually uh, because if you look at younger population, which is the driver of the internet, they know they are learning English uh, even in school. So, um, so yeah, I think primary driver of internet seems to be English, uh, even in the near future. Yes, there will be local languages which will be significantly large. Right? Naveen, where's the growth taking place? I, I, so I, th I, have a very I have a different point of view on this, which is, 
I don't think it's going to be about um, it's it's not going to be about the uh, the written language. It's going to be about videos and it's going to be about audios. Um, and so content consumption is going to move from text to essentially audio and video to a great extent. When you have audio and video, automated translation of that and putting captions, et cetera, would become a far, far easier way of doing those things as against trying to essentially, uh, you know, get into the converting existing content the way it exists today to try and convert it into a written one it's actually it's it's very very hard so i don't think that's necessarily going to happen it's going to be a uh, you know i i, I was the few days ago i was uh, and i gave my phone to my uh, son is four and said why don't you start typing me a message so that i thought he'll you know he'll type something he'll learn something and uh, 10 minutes later, I start getting messages from him and they were not any more written messages because uh, earlier it was gibberish for like first five minutes because he figured that there is an audio button there, started pressing the audio button, sending me audio, audio messages only. And till date, I cannot get him to write because he only sent me audio messages. So I think the evolution of the new generation is going to be very different because they will be far more at ease with audio video. I, I can bet you this room will have a tougher time looking at audio video than the new generation would. And so therefore, I just feel that the new language of communication is going to be significantly different.